Hello, hello, hello. We are back with my iron. So I have a list of things to fix. I'm going to uh, do a check of the brakes tomorrow. Uh, at the moment the lever works, but it's a bit sloppy and I'm just wondering if I can uh, uh, shorten the bar up. No, there is an adjustment at the end, but it's such a pain in the ass to get in there. So uh, I've been stalling. So I'm gonna try to take all of this apart with that 50 mechanism brake and um, see if I can um, um, make it shorter so the brake lever sits a bit higher. Okay, that's the number one priority because we're gonna go for a brake test tomorrow morning. Okay, let's get to it. This is where we at reservoir away. We have this funky mechanism. So I need to loosen up this screw and then bring this all in, maybe another five mil. And then uh, hopefully the brake lever will sit a bit higher. So I'm gonna give it a go, give it a try and see uh, what it looks like. expected <laughs> just a little bit of a TLC so the lever is much stronger still works nicely and uh, we don't have the slop anymore so that's good I'm just gonna tidy up my tools and another thing another thing they didn't like uh, let me see if I can take this off what the guy noticed, man, he has an eagle sight. He noticed that um, a bolt, engine mount bolt, on the nylock down there doesn't come all the way through. So I have to replace. I have to replace the bolt which I bought online and it arrived. So I have a six-inch bolt to put in. So I'll do that next. And uh, I have a rear reflector missing, so I'll find that. I should have a somewhere a little one. Rear sprocket worn. I'm gonna pick the new one on Monday. Secure rear brake pipe. Well, I'll make a bracket tomorrow. Secure engine mount. That's this one. We have a sidewall cracking. I have a new tire. Brake declaration tomorrow. Rear tire sidewall cracking so i have a rear tire indicator evidence how it works i have found and i will do the declaration tomorrow so uh, we're getting there i'm pretty much getting her uh, sorted what they requested and then hopefully if everything works fine on a tuesday i'll go back and we'll go get her registered <laughs> Brake declaration done. We have it all 
signed up and written so that's cool I'm gonna give myself break the Croatian declaration tick so we have a secured engine mount break declaration done I have the evidence of the indicators done and the ownership trail I am just going right now to um, to get to see uh, Justice of Peace she lives uh, down the road so uh, I'm gonna get my bicycle and go over to um, get it signed off then that's done and this afternoon I am uh, changing my front tire because this one is pretty cracked and also uh, later on I might change the rear tire as well because that's cracked also uh, tomorrow I'm picking up a new sprocket hopefully well new second hand um, so while the wheel is off I'll change the tire and then um, I'll uh, take the sprocket off ready for tomorrow and uh, tires are already there I got the white wall ones just because I can and I'll have to um, one last thing is to figure out some kind of mounting bracket for this uh, so it doesn't wobble that's what he didn't like so I have a plan for that all right all right so we are uh, signed off JP signed my paperwork up so we're good to go um, so now just uh, do some work and um, that's exciting this was uh, last the bureaucratic paper done so uh, I don't have to bug any other people the rest of the stuff I can do myself so uh, yeah it's good good we're making progress I'm pretty confident that uh, uh, we'll get it done hopefully this rocket tomorrow will fit perfect and uh, it's in a better order than I have but it'll be a nice opportunity to go for a bike ride oh, interesting oops. anyhow okay let's get to some wrenching Ready, time to lift the bike up with my crude stuff. Okay, look, wheel is off, so uh, just gonna take down the uh, air and assemble my tire changer over there. Yeah. I didn't even realize that you have to take the brake calipers off because you can't get the uh, rim out from the fork so uh, hence they just hanging down there for now it'll be fine, won't be long okay, let's uh, do some tire changing Tire removal with my uh, handmade tire tool and the rim. It's pretty rusty. Who knows when was the last time it was open, so I'm gonna give it all the clean. Yeah, it's pretty rough. So I'm gonna clean it up and put a, a little coat of paint on it. That'll do the job. Yeah? Better do these things, eh? Out, but that looks much better it's pitted as hell but it's strong enough at least all the rust is removed cleaned up with turps and I'm um, just gonna give it a paint I have a kill rust heavy duty primer so I'll just go with a coat let it dry and um, um, yeah, put a tire back on, or the new one, anyway, and she'll be, she'll be good for a while. When I got a flat tire on my, um, 
uh, the 70 iron on my blue one, I uh, kept the tube. Didn't know why. And uh, I know why. Because I don't have any lining. The, um, the rubber wood was on the um, inside of the rim. Had all the rust on the inside. I tried to clean it up, but it broke. So I'm gonna use this old one and I'm gonna cut the inner strip with scissors about an inch wide and um, that'll be a perfect fit for the rim so sometimes I try to throw away the old stuff sometimes I keep the old stuff and uh, here we go sometimes the old stuff uh, comes handy now let's get chopping <laughs> So there we have it, rim painted, I have a hole for the um, tube to go through for the ventil and it's all protected. So I'm um, gonna get some talcum powder, some soapy water and put that new tube in. This is gonna be, oh, what you just watched was fast forwarded all the way through. Uh, it was 20 minutes just putting the tire on. And probably 15 minutes out of that was trying to uh, put the ventil of the tube into the hole through the tire. Man, that's pain in the ass. I think that's the hardest thing to do, just to align. Because the, the tire of uh, automatically folds into the groove of the rim and in the middle of the rim is a hole for the ventil so you try to put it in there but the tire is in the way and there is no way you can move it with your fingers uh, so took me a while to uh, jiggle that in a place but um, having having this bolted down was a monstrous improvement without that being solidly on the floor uh, these, especially the front tires when the rims are really narrow, man, that's, you have no room to maneuver. It's pretty, I had the trouble with the Triumph. This one was pretty pain in the ass. It's really skinny. Hey, so, um, yeah, I'm glad it's done. I'm just gonna put some air in it and put the wheel back on the front. Then, um, we can take the, I put the bike onto the cradle so it's out of the way and take the rear, rear wheel off, um, ready for tomorrow. But yeah, maybe I'll have a lunch first. <laughs> Holy shit. I have been told before too that if you keep your uh, little ventil out, it'll uh, sit the bead much faster. So uh, let's give it a try. Uh, that doesn't work because there is nothing to compress the <laughs> little button. Okay. Okay. Both beats. moment we have the front tire on it is okay also it looks good and uh, still have to do the bracket for here and remove the rear tire so I'm gonna do the rear tire now get it ready but I'll get the bike on the cradle uh, I don't need it uh, off 
because they're trying to take the front tire while uh, the, it's in the chuck is really hard so this was a bit easier was a quick little <laughs> fix. I chopped up a piece of, uh, I had a little L frame of aluminium which was uh, I think just over a mil. So I uh, chopped one side of it, kept the wider part and bent it to place. And now I bent up, you saw on the video, a uh, little thing. I'm gonna drill a hole right through it, put a screw in, cut these bits off and that's my bracket Right, done, yeah. So that's one bracket down. It's not the most beautiful bracket, but um, to satisfy the gentleman at the office, it should be enough. When I will build this bike properly, I'm gonna reroute everything anyway. It's gonna be a cool project so uh, it doesn't worry me as long as he's happy I don't care if it's ugly then um, then I'll be sweet so uh, that's what it is just piece of alloy few things a uh, little screw and now the whole thing is solid and secure uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, if the time goes it'll rattle out but for now you know I'm not gonna be riding this bike <laughs> really so um, that's it. So all I have left is um, change the rear tire and the sprocket. Well, another great idea. The axle can't come out because of the exhaust. So I take the whole body exhaust off. Why is nothing on this bike a simple, simple story? Bloody hell! <laughs> What a bloody mission! Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know what everything I have to take apart to uh, being able to take that wheel off. Uh, never mind. We'll put it together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe it's not the perfect time. I'm tired. Uh, I shouldn't probably be doing this, but um, looking at the lens and the camera, it's dirty and greasy uh, I'm not even turning the music off anymore man I should not be doing this and I'm trying to break the bead I don't know how long this tire was on if I thought the front wheel was hard fuck <sighs> sweating like a fucking crazy dude and I've been fiddling with it for 15 minutes and I haven't done anything not a move maybe it's time to bring shovel <laughs> Uh, bead is finally broken. There was a workout and a half. Uh, bloody hell. Uh, together with my bead breaker and a shovel, we got it down and the tire irons. Uh, man, taking off old tires is really freaking hard. Well, I'm barely breathing, I'm running on freaking empty. <sighs> Can't even stand up straight. Come on, Mario, I can do this. <sighs> Maybe I should dark outside. Maybe I should call it a day. I was here pretty much on and off all day. <sighs> Successes, but half the time I'm kind of pushing shit uphill, to be honest. Oh, well. Oh, well. Good 
morning, good morning. <laughs> another day, another rainy day. It's pouring down. I don't know if you can see it. But um, I'm heading to uh, the coast, to the shop to get the sprocket. I'm taking my big bike today. I just want it easy, quick in, quick out. And uh, this thing in the worst weather is the most comfortable. So I'm uh, uh, just gonna get, pick it up. I'm not gonna be filming this, just wanna get it over with. And then, um, yeah, come back, hopefully put the bike together. And if I'm lucky, go this afternoon to finish the paperwork. So uh, fingers crossed. So um, I'm just gonna get it done. <laughs> That's the update, let's do it. We are back. I'm pretty uh, <laughs> red and wet. Um, the rain doesn't bother me, but there was so much wind up on a hill. Uh, some corners you're going 15k an hour being blasted. 100 kilometer winds. That was pretty rough today, but kind of beautiful when you watch the water on the road. Uh, you can see the gusts and all of where the wind moves and uh, predict where where the wind's coming from and then you can brace yourself in so that it's, it's kind of cool notice this morning so um, we have now a nice little shiny sprocket to be mounted on a bike yesterday night I also uh, cleaned it up and sanded it and painted all the inside and the protector broke too so I was gluing one to go in from the old tire so um, yeah I'm gonna put the tire back on or the new new tire I have down there put it on um, and then I load the bike up and uh, head up to Maston again to the VTNZ so uh, Made a mess, water everywhere, but that's okay, I'll dry off. Okay, I'll just go and get changed and get to work. Okay. So here is update, we have the disc back on, the new sprocket back on, tires is all seated and everything, I'm just gonna check the balance, make sure she's good and then back on the bike and then finally we're done, but exhaust, covers, shocks, all the shebang needs to go back in there, so it's not done. Um, the funnest part but we're getting closer hey what am i moaning about <laughs> just get on with it Stop talking. okie dokie so we have i think everything requested done we have a rear reflector done rear sprocket warrant check it's done, new one, uh, secure rear brake pipe done, secure engine mount done, front wall new tire, declaration done, rear crackling, cracking, rear sidewall cracking done, new tire, indicator evidence and statu statutory freaking declaration done, that side. So yeah, new tires. New shiny sprocket. Um, the engine mount is sticking out now further, so it should be happy. And the brakes are good, so um, yeah, we. Uh, I'm just giving her a last little charge because um, I was riding her and to get the brakes checked, and um, the generator is not working, so. Uh, if he wants to start her up, at least I have a hopefully enough juice to um, to give her a one crank over. But yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea, load up the ute, and um, head over to uh, 
Must attempt to VTNZ for a second check. If I can get it done today, then I can have a day off tomorrow. Yay! That will be nice. Okay, let's get it loaded up. Well, bike's loaded again. She's back on the trailer. And then as soon as I tried to go, I real I tried to start the youth and uh, it's not going. And then I remembered, damn, I last time, I think it was just yesterday, I came back with the youth and I left the lights on. So, flat battery. So, I've been charging uh, quickly before we head out. Uh, should be enough, I'm gonna give her a um, little start and then uh, head over, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> oh well, so um, I am back from the office and um We got a plate! I'm live! Everything's good. So the bike's registered, warranted. Uh, she's good to go. Um, that's cool. It's quite funny when you worry about things you know they are not perfect and they don't notice them and pick up a whole bunch of other things. But I fixed them, I got them all done and uh, yeah, the bike's legal. Uh, time to get home, put a plate on it if I want it, and um, we can start building. Let's go. Well, I'm home. I've been raining on the way back. The bike is pretty soppy. I will dry out, it's in the garage. Yeah, happy days! I can relax, the bike is legal. I have a plate, it's registered and warranted and um, I have a smile on my face. How bloody exciting, we got it done. Um, I didn't even have to take the bike off the, off the ute. I just put it up there, strapped it. The guy took my paperwork. He did say that uh, oh, I was talking to the lady and she says that Oh, can you leave the bike here uh, and pick it up some other day when we get it done? And I'm looking at her, uh, no, I'm coming from quite far and I hate driving here. So uh, if you can look at it now, it would be great. And then the guy came in, took the paperwork, disappeared and um, himself, he must have... Uh, yeah, just go on there and while the bike was strapped onto the top of the ute, he just checked what he needed to check and um, signed it off. So um, we're good to go. So this is exciting. I can take a little break, take a foot off the pedal because last two weeks were a bit mad scramble, tried to get everything, get it all sorted. So I can have a proper day off tomorrow and chill out start processing the videos and um, uh, now it's gonna be a case of stripping the whole thing in and start making it what I wanted to make which is gonna be an exciting I'm really looking forward to this project um, but this was the first step just get her running get everything working get her legal and uh, it is what it is um, I'm looking forward to uh, the future on this bike I have plans big plans okay so this is it this is the uh, legal system of motorcycles and getting old motorcycle on the road uh, done it's pretty straightforward well it was easy because this bike was on the road before it was legal before just the registration lapsed this lady behind me she never been on a on the roads so uh, that was a bit different that was a bit uh trickier still i think it wasn't too bad but um it was a few more steps to get this bike on the road but this one yeah just fix everything make everything run and it'll be good okay stop talking <laughs> mario all right i'll let you guys go thank you for watching as usual thank you for subscribing and uh, uh supporting my 
little channel and um, if you want to see what happens with the bike with this bike in the future keep watching keep your eyes peeled and um, I'll try to keep posting things long live the iron heads that should be a new thing t-shirt long live the iron head all right see you guys later